Hey guys, James Gomez from Carts and Farts. So uh, I've got several videos out there. I'm sure hopefully you're following the channel. If you're not, click and subscribe, follow the channel. But uh, something new the Eco Battery has come out with is a 60 amp hour. It's a little bit smaller battery. Um, my first video, which I think was the first one on the internet, or on YouTube anyway, it was mounting it on the passenger side. I've done several now that I'm mounting on the driver's side with very little modification. So we're, today we're working on a 2016 Club Car President, and I'm going to show you some of those quick steps just mounting the battery and the battery charger. And the uh, rest of the video, subscribe to the channel, and you'll see all the other steps. All right, guys, so we've, I'm pretty far along in the installation. I've cleaned out my batteries. I've got my meter mounted to the dash, and the orientation that I'm starting to put these 60 amp hours is facing rear. So you got your positive and your negative post to the rear, You've got plenty of room here to hook up your uh, your cable, which is going to be like this, which goes to your meter up front. And we've got some room here for our charger. So I'll show you how I, I like to mount the charger. All right, so the first thing I like to do is once I get my battery in place, or you can do it without the battery, I'm going to have to actually cut that notch off. And you can see there's a couple places right here where it has notches for the factory six battery setup. I use that oscillating tool there. It works really good. I've actually already cut it out. And so when you cut it, that's what you're left with. Not a lot. Discard that. Now your charger, which they have changed the design of these chargers. They've got a flat plate on the bottom now. You'll be able to mount your charger in there. And they do give you some supplied hardware. And I'm going to show you how right, that's so your charger has two ends to it. One end actually has a light that would illuminate. I like to put that facing forward. So I'm gonna take both hands here, since I'm videoing with one hand, and I'm gonna place it underneath these wires, put it in place, and show you how I screw it. As you can tell, it's right up against this little notch. Yeah, it's got a little bit of slop, not much, maybe a eight sixteenth of an inch. But when I cut that slot, it allowed it to be shifted. So it is solid as it can be on this club car president. There's nothing underneath here. So I'm gonna take these supplied self-tapping screws and I got a little driver here on the end of my drill and I'm gonna use these two holes here on the front. Now, when you get to the rear, if you notice, if I can zoom in there, you'll notice there's gonna be a hole where that one mounts and I don't think that's enough to really grab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit and I'm gonna mount it right through the metal itself, the aluminum. Uh, these self-tapping screws actually cut into the metal pretty easily. Now on this side, this is actually right above this little slot. I guess it's for water to go underneath the batteries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna self-tap it right next to it. So I'm gonna have to do that with uh, both hands but uh, the screws are not long enough to go through this slot all the way to the floor and hold it, but it will hold it right there. So let me go ahead and do that and show you the end result. All right, I'm gonna try to video this with one hand, make sure I get it right side up. So as I've got my driver down, you can see where it is on that uh, plane. All right, guys, the phone rang when I was videoing, but you can see how it kind of sheared off a little bit of aluminum threads, but I'll blow that out, it'll be fine. So let's do the same to the other side and get it mounted flat. All right, let's try this again. Just that simple. So I've got it secured in two places on this end. I'm gonna blow that out. The other two factory slots, that charger's mounted, it ain't going nowhere. Right, guys, when we secure the battery to the tray, it does come with this ratchet strap. It's got a little slot hook, and it's designed, I think they designed it to go on the passenger side to hook over. But remember, the reason we're mounting it over here is so we do not have to replace your negative cable. Your positive cable will reach over there, but if you're gonna do a negative cable, I've tried everything in the world, relocating the negative from under this plate to over here, drilling a hole, it just ain't gonna work. So unless you wanna remake a, a negative cable, these things don't hardly weigh anything. I'm telling you, the driver's side is the way to go. So uh, we're gonna mount it over here. There is another slot down here. It doesn't quite look like that one, but it's a little more in this position, but it's gonna come across right here. So let me go ahead and fit that with two hands down in this slot. The other side of it is a hook, and it's gonna hook down here to where your factory uh, J-bolt used to hook. So we'll get that in there. 
and then we're gonna strap it all together. So let's all see right, what so I kind of got it in place and takes two hands to get it in that hook. But, and this is kind of a little, uh, uh, I guess a, a finishing detail that I like to do. But once I pull the strap, you can ratchet it down. You're gonna have a little tail or as soon as you get it fed, you can push this into that same slot. And then when you ratchet it, it'll wrap itself up in there. So, I'm all right, you see we got it in place. It ain't going nowhere. Um, and the little strap just kind of wound up into it. All right, guys, that's what we're left with. So I did a little bit of wire management. Heck, this time I only used one, two, three, four, five zip ties. Um, that's all it took. This one has a factory reducer, so there's a little less uh, wires to take care of, but it is secured. I've already cut it on, and that's gonna be common. Uh, it's gonna be around 50 volts when you get it out of the box. Of course, I'm gonna charge it up before I give it to my customer. Um, I did tape, and the yellow tape is optional. If you wanna be cool, use color tape like I do. Just kidding. But uh, anyway, that is your cable that goes to your gauge over here. So I'm getting ready to put the, uh, the uh, kick panel back together. I've already got my charging port, very cool. Put all that back together, put my floor mat, get this thing charged up, and uh, this is a uh, 2016, and it's OEM controlling wires. Uh, I'm gonna put a little uh, GPS on it and let's see how it performs. So, uh, but anyway, very neat install. Charger is solid, it ain't going nowhere. Customer still has plenty of room if he wants to store something underneath the seat. So, let me get to tidying this. All up. right, guys, uh, club car precedent, factory controller um did not realize that this is a previous customer of mine but we did do a plum quick motor on it a while back this one does have the uh three inch lift on it with 20 inch tires so uh i've been got it charged up to about that uh, sun's in there 91 percent so let's take it for a drive and see what she does guys so we're pulling 27 28 miles an hour uh, she's performing well it's a little chilly today I've got the windshield up so uh, 20 inch tires 3 inch lift eco battery 160 plum quick bandit not too bad hey right, guys there you have it so uh, club car president 60 amp hour plum quick motor um, factory components uh, pretty daggum strong, 28 miles an hour. So the uh, reason I throw these videos together is to show you what can be done in your garage. You can see I do all this stuff in my garage with all my junk. Um, it's not very difficult. The uh, people I buy my stuff from, Eco Battery, Plum Quick, they make it very easy for you to do it yourself or so. Um, just be careful, Where do your uh, take your safety precautions. And uh, if you need an Eco Battery or a Plum Quick motor, uh, right now I've got about nine in stock. But uh, please reach out and let me know. So I'll have my information on the screen. And as always, uh, drive cart safe. And uh, feel free to reach out to me. Y'all have a good one.